of the reading rush. I did not vlog yesterday. It was a mix of forgetting to and not really feeling like vlogging, I guess. But yesterday I read like half, like half of the first book. And today I am almost done. I'm like almost done. And the action is really like picking up the pace. It's going really like suddenly everything started to happen. I think I'm liking the book. I think I'm enjoying it. I'm not completely sure yet though. I'm, I don't know. When I finish, I'll read it. But so far it's been a tough one. I'm not really sure if I'm liking it or not. Um, I just finished Shadow and Bone. And um, I'm still not sure how I feel about it. I just read it on Goodreads. I gave it 3 out of 5 stars, but it's more like 3.5. Yeah. Um, so I really like the world. It's very well built. The magic system is really cool. It's very interesting. Um, I mean, I enjoyed reading parts of it, but my friend, I was talking to my friend who I'm buddy reading, I was buddy reading this with, and she was saying that the action mostly happens in the very beginning and then the very end, and I, and I agree. Uh, so like this big thing happens at the beginning, and you're like, oh my god, and then it's like, okay, like she's just living her life, things are happening like slowly, and then suddenly something else happens, and you're like, oh my god. <laughs> and it's like very sudden and then there's a lot more action and then it ends like boom so I wasn't crazy about the plot like how it progressed and I don't know how I feel about the characters like, I think that the main character I was expecting so I've heard a lot of things about Six of Crows and I know this is most people's favorite um, so apparently the big thing about Six of Crows, it's not only the plot, but the characters. They're supposed to be amazing. And the main character is just a run-of-the-mill, like, YA hero, you know? At least in this book, for the most part. I'm not... maybe, you know, she has a great character arc in the next two books. I don't know. But, again, the world building is amazing. The, the settings are incredible. It's very unique. So I still... I'm still curious. I'm, I still want to read the, the following books. I just I was expecting a little bit more of the ending and then the book was done and I was like, okay. Um, I feel like there's a couple of characters that are going to get more interesting in the following books, I think. I mean, the Darkling... I don't know how I feel about him. I, I, I don't know. I'm going to wait. I'm going to read more. I'm going to read the next book and then I'll... I'll see. Uh, but Genya, I don't know if that's how you say her name, but I I liked her. Like she reminds me of more in uh Akutar. And the Darkling so far, you know how I described him to my friends as a as a reverse Reese. You know? Cause he's like, I don't wanna spoil it it's sort this is spoiler free. But for those who have read it and have read Akatar, or at least know about it, you know? Like, at least for this book. But maybe he'll pull a non-reverse race. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know what to expect. It was fine, I guess. I, I don't know. I might still read the following books for uh, the magical readathon. I'm not sure, though. So now I'm going to pick my next read. I was thinking Avatar, and I I think I'm just going to do Avatar because after an unsure read, I know I'm going to like Avatar. Just, you know, like... But then, I don't know what I'm going to... Because I'm going to read this so fast that I can start thinking about my next read. And I don't know if I want to go for a... So this is very short. But I'm gonna feel the feelings. I don't know if I want to feel the feelings just yet. So I might go with Annihilation. So I can split my sci-fi. So like I can do I can do like Annihilation. Watch the movie tonight. Can I read this today? 
Can I read this today? I don't know. Well, tonight or tomorrow, I don't know. And then read something else, and then read The Word for World is Forest. Because if I read too much sci-fi, I'll just start thinking about my thesis. I've been dreaming about my thesis. Just That means that I'm very late. Don't tell my advisor, please. <laughs> um, so I don't know. So I'll read Avatar and I'll see how I feel. But maybe Annihilation, so I can watch the movie. So now I'm gonna grab a snack and watch some Reading Rush vlogs. I think Hannah just uploaded hers. I just watched Haley's as well. Maybe I'll read Avatar on the couch next to my dog while I watch Avatar. Now that's... That's a great idea. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, so there's a reading sprint starting in like five minutes or something. Um, so I'm gonna start reading Avatar for the reading sprints in like six minutes or something. My dog is, I mean, she's always insane, but sometimes she's slightly more than others. I have no idea what she's doing. Suki, Suki, hello. She will join me in my reading sprints. Do you want to read a book? Do you like books? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm gonna read. I finished the Avatar comic mid sprint. It's not over yet, but it ended with a twist. I want to read the rest, but they don't fit the other prompts. So I'm just gonna wait and read it later. And now I think I'm gonna read Annihilation. I think I think I feel like reading this one. I really want to watch the movie as well, so I'm gonna start this one. My my dog left me. She has forsaken me. She would rather be barking at her friends than you know reading with me. She's very fickle. So annihilation. Let's get it. Okay, so I've started Annihilation and I'm I'm only like this bit into it. But it's it's really cool. <laughs> it's so interesting the way that the story is told, like so you have four characters but none of them is named. You only uh, know them by their position. So you have uh, an anthropologist, a surveyor, a psychologist and uh, a biologist, and the biologist is the, um, the narrator. Um, so they're going into Area X, which has been like cut off from, I mean, from the rest of the world. I don't really know what the rest of the world is because you don't really know anything from the start and like neither do them. So they go into it knowing very little about the mission. Like they know that a lot of information is being withheld and it's really interesting. So, I have read a little bit more of Annihilation and I'm really liking it so far. This is giving me a lot of Lost vibes, the show. I love Lost. And so far, the, um, the tower tunnel thing, but the tower is reminding me of the hatch that they find it that, they, that they can open. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, so I think I'm just going to read the book for now. I don't think I'm going to finish it tonight. So that is it for today's vlog. I'm going to read a little bit more of Annihilation. Tomorrow I might try to vlog some more. Let's see how good I am with consistency. Um, yeah. And I hope you had a great first two days of the reading rush. Don't read through the entire night because that's bad for your brain noodle, I guess. But I mean, if you do, good luck. And I will see you 
tomorrow.